So what we're going to do right now, Eric's going to be our setter. And uh, all he's doing is, uh, yeah, and let's have a, a yeah, we're going to have Tyre back there, yep. So Tim at the net is going to hold up a number one through five. Okay, he's going to put it right in front of him, kind of where his hands are right now. And uh, all Eric's going to do is release. And before he sets the ball, he needs to tell me what number he's holding up. One, two, three, four, or five. Does that make sense? Okay. What we're looking at here is for Eric to figure out how to read the other side and make a set. I'm not worried at all about what type of set Eric's making. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care the tempo. I don't care where he sets. You can set front or back. Um, all we want to see is, is he processing information and how quickly is he doing it? Okay, and that's the whole point of this progression is we're getting them in the habit of reading something on the other side and still being able to do stuff on our side of the net. Okay, and that's the toughest thing about this is how do we get him to not only look but also look and understand, right? It's the difference between reading and comprehending. That's what it is. So he can tell me, but if he doesn't know what that means or he doesn't understand what that, that means for our offense, it doesn't do us any good. So getting him to actually comprehend it and then make the appropriate set. So right now we're just getting him to look. Uh, Tim, let's not be too early with it so you don't have to, it's a kind of a last minute thing. Uh, our progression is we say ball blocker, ball blocker, okay? So as the pass comes, we want Eric to look at the ball. He's gonna look at Tim. Look back at the ball, look at Tim, and then set. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So a couple good tosses here. Let's see what it looks like. So if you can't hear him, he's, I'll tell you if he's saying the wrong number. Good, okay, so as you can see, just right off the bat, it's a little uncomfortable for him to be doing that. He's probably worried about trying to find the ball too much and reading what's going on the other side. Uh, and that's just the very first progression of it. So if you're having trouble with this, I would encourage that you do this a lot and you get your setter, whether he or she, to continually to look and read and get used to it. The one thing I will say is that these passes are pretty decent. If all of a sudden we start doing this, Right? It's trying to change this thing a little bit. And that was pretty good. Okay? So it's obviously going to be pass dependent. There's sometimes you're going to say, Coach, I literally can't see the other middle. That's fine. Right? We don't want you coming over here and just staring at the other middle and then trying to set a ball that doesn't do us any good. Okay? Uh, so that's the first part of it is that we're just getting them to read. This, the whole thing is, is your setter has to be able to read the other side and comprehend fast enough before that ball touches their hands to make the appropriate set. And that's a really difficult skill to teach. So this is that first part of the progression.